Hello everyone, I want to make a few videos about how to make interesting audio visuals with Simple Network in Touch Designer. And this will be the first of the series. And today we're going to learn how to make these effects with simple image composition and a switch top. As usual, let's see the final effects first. The network can be understood in three parts. For the audio part, I'm using the high frequency data of the song to drive the visuals. And I'm only using the high frequency for, for now, uh, for a few more tutorials before we move forward with more complex audio analysis. And then for the visual part, I'm using uh, six slightly different images and connected to a switch and using the high to drive the switch so that we looping through different images as the music plays along. And the essence here is you want to use slightly different images. And my images are different in terms of um, the edge strengths and uh, displacement intensity and also the position and the scale. So I uh, increase it slightly, uh, but they all look similar and then I compose them together. And the final part is the post-processing part where I just apply different effects to make the visual more interesting. So I'm using, uh, for example, edge detection and displacement. I'm using feedback with uh, lens distort um, and I'm using a feedback, uh, this is the same, but I using different compo composite method. You can try all different ways to see which one works best for your visuals. And that's basically it. Um, so let's create the network from scratch. Um, the first step is setting up the audio input. We first add the audio file in and uh, choose a song of your like and connect it to a audio device out so that we can hear our music. And then we need to grab our um, audio analysis from the palette here. Under the tools, you choose audio analysis. And if you are using the same version as me, which is 2022, you need to open the uh, parameters to be able to use it. And in this case, I'm using the high frequency. So uh, toggle on this, connect it to a select, connect it to a now for good practice. And normally you would also add a mass in case you want to change the range to fit your audio needs. Uh, visual needs. So we just add it for now. And then you want to add info as well. It will give you the information about the song. Um, and then you want to find the uh, file lens frames and use it in the timeline here so that your visuals will be the same lens as your uh, song. Okay. And now this is the uh, our audio part is already finished. We move to the side and then for the visual part, you want to have like six or more different images, uh, similar images. And the first thing we do is we want to connect it to a transform. And you want to, uh, this we can, we don't need to do anything, but for this one, we change to 0 0.01 same and second we want to change it um, slightly bigger and then we want to connect it to a now in case uh, you want to do some other modifications and that's it and then for these three images as you can see here it has different composition is vertical and we want to add a fit first um, and um, have the um, same resolution as the parent panel size, uh, which I set the panel panel size. If you go out, I go here. Uh, under the layout is this size.
and in the look here yeah it's out okay so this one will have the same resolution of container size we just said you can click middle of your mouse right click or a few mouse to get this info this is the resolution we are working with and then you want to have a background color black in this case i'm using black and copy it multiple times and then you want to add a transform um, and transform um, the first one i want to move it um, slightly uh, i think yeah like to translate from here And then the second one is in the middle, so we actually don't need the transform. Uh, the last one is 0 0.35. Uh, okay. And as always, we add a null in case you want to do some other things. All right, and this is uh, our visual part, pretty simple. And we connect all of them to a switch top. So you select all of them by right click your mouse and drag all of them to the switch. And then you want a uh, view active of the, um, no, oh, we haven't selected the, so to select high, uh, you um, either type name high, or you can select from the drop down menu. And then you want to right click view active and drag it to the index here connect uh, now to the switch and view it from here because there are six image the index number should loop in from one two three four five so we want to get a range around zero to five I'm using the high and you can uh, test out your range, but in this case, I will multiply by five, we'll get um, the various elements. As you can see, with a simple tricks like this, the audio, uh, the visuals is already interesting. And then we head on to add more effects. So first we add a level connected to a edge. Add a composite. Compose uh, the edge um, on top of the the one, and add uh, use an add. Add a now so that we can see the visual. And I will lower down the opacity to zero point five, and the edge to one point seven. And now it looks like this. And to make it more dynamic, I would uh, turn on the blend between inputs. And then we can also add a note here. So this will be our visual one. And this one will be our visual two. So with the edge. And then we head on to make the third one. We add a displacement, displace, and connect this one as first input and the edge as second input. And in the displace weight, we want to lower down the Y to really small. And then for the displayed weight X, um, I'm using, I can close this one. 0 0.3 and I want to play around with the range here by drag onto different values to my visuals and what I think looks good on my visuals is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 so um, to get that range we need to use LFO chop and connect it to a mass to change the range and connect it to a now for better practice and you drop the reference uh, to the displaced weight 
and then uh, by default the LFO is ranging between minus 1 to 1 so in the mass here we want to change the range to 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 and now uh, it's changing too fast so we are lower down the frequency and also i don't like the bounce effects i want the movement to be linear so i will use a ramp for this um, this is pretty close to what i'm wanting, wanted so uh, i will name these two visual three okay um, and then we head on to make different visuals. We now use the feedback and connect it to a level, connect it to a lens distort, and connect to a composite. So we want to, uh, maybe we can add another one to better understand it. So we want to add the, the one after and the original one together. In the composite, I'm choosing a luminate different, luminance difference. And we can close this one and see it how, how it looks like. Uh, remember to drag onto the feedback. And in the level here, um, lower down the opacity to 0 0.95. And the lens distort, I want to change it slightly. So I put the number minus 0 0.3 and 2, 2, 1, 0, 1. And to see how it looks like. So I create this wrapping effect. Um, Okay, and then we want to uh, try out different composite method. Uh, for example, we uh, duplicate, and then this time I'm using a max one. Yes. So this one is with color, um, and add this wrapping effect on top of our yeah existing one, if you remember. And this one is the same as this one, it's just like mono color. And this we're gonna call it. Uh, Visual 4 and then finally uh, Visual 5 you can um, let's copy this one one more time and put it down here and close these two for this one I want to change my ran up invert to 0 0.3 uh, or any numbers it all looks great in the uh, mono color so in this case i'm just using 0 0.3 and name this visual 5 yeah and that's it this is five different visuals you can create from this six image and in the future tutorials Hopefully I will teach you how to apply those visuals in different sections of the songs. And um, see you next time.